Morning guys, Dustin here from Gold Red Engineering. Just wanted to shoot a quick video today just to give you introduce our new little rock crusher we're bringing out this week. This is called the Crazy Crusher and it's an off the grid crusher. It doesn't require any power. Uh, it's a jaw crusher. Uh, I'll just give you a little close up here. So you can see the jaw action. We have adjustable discharge so you can pass your oversized rocks through if you want them to come out large, bust them up to small or you can tighten it right up and you can put it through for a single pass if you wanted to just crush a quick speci or see if there's any gold. Uh, it's a very simple unit to use. I'll just move that camera a little bit. Chuck a rock through for you. So, by raising the arms, you actually open the jaws up, which will allow you to put a, a larger rock in. You put a couple of rocks in at a time if you like. That's quite a, quite a big one there. So you'll see the kind of force required for a large rock. Just show you the size of that. Certainly, you could pan that out. Give you a bit of an idea on average pass through size. But if you wanted to rerun that, you certainly could. Didn't want this video to drag on, so I did a couple of second pass and third pass before just to see how fine you can actually get this stuff. If you're using a series of screens, so you can rerun this stuff through as many times as you like. Let's for a second pass. What I'm doing here is I'm actually tightening this down while I'm crushing. Really fine discharge. real fine you can but um it's basically it it's a very easy unit to use it's got pre-drilled um, feet here so we can set this up permanently on a bench at home or you can take this out in the field with you use clamps like I do um, we'll also be bringing out a unit to, to hook this up to a tow hitch so you're about to pull the unit out of your car hook it up on the tow hitch Crush your species right out in the field. If you're out swinging to your detector for the day, come home with a pocket of species. You don't need to bring them all home. You can crush them up, create a concentrate, and pan it out in the field and see if that uh, particular vein you've found is producing for you. It's a um, very easy unit to use and assemble. Comes This unit's all pre-assembled, and the arms will come unassembled, and you simply... Sorry, bad light here. Simply need to put these four nuts on and this sleeve and you're ready to go. So very easy. Um, I'll just show you these jaws. Design these jaws in a way that if you wear this out over a couple of years, you can just grind this off. You're about to order some new jaws. Run a bead along here. And same with these, these hard facing um, teeth. You can run another bead straight across the top of these or grind them flat and put some new beads on. So, pretty easy little unit to use. Um, does have some weight to it. Obviously, it's all steel. It's all laser cut steel. Um, we want it to be pretty rock solid. That's the whole point. It's got to last for years. And um, you know, this, this unit's going to going to go on the market for about six hundred and fifty dollars, which it really gives prospectors um, 
access to a tool they can use quick and fast in the field um, without having to connect to power, without having to bring rocks home. And there's not a lot on the market under the thousand dollar mark at the moment. So I think this is really going to address some issues for some people. I've already got um, a tile manufacturer, sorted one of these, for crushing tiles for matching repairs. I've got another guy who does um, gold recovery in, in scrap electronics. He's pre-ordered one. Another guy who farms uh, sea cucumbers and he's actually dries the clay. He'll be using this to, to crush his clay down to feed the sea cucumbers. So there's a lot of different uses for these. I'm going to be using it for gold prospecting. Um, you know, this is the type of material you can produce. It's a good idea to have a set of sieves. Which you should have anyway, but if you're getting into hard rock, obviously a range of sieves get down smaller than this. I'm pretty sure uh, Ben at Gold Diggers has some small sieves, uh, you know, sort of two cup size, um, and that's that would be a great little tool for this. I might get me one of those. But um, yeah, didn't want to didn't want the video to drag on too long, guys. Just a quick introductory video. Uh, been working on these all week, actually for a couple of weeks. Probably put, I think. We'll, put 11 units together at the moment. I've still got another eight to do assembly. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but um, we'll get all these pieces painted up and uh, assembled for you guys next week. Um, yeah, I think they've turned out really well. We use a local milling company to turn out all these, all these threads. So everything's being built here locally within a 10 kilometer radius. So we like uh, supporting Australian businesses. So everything's everything's Aussie made, and that's really important to us. So anyway, that's all from me. Hope you guys like the new product, and um, I'll touch base with you next week with um, some pricing and where you can get it. This particular unit here, I'm actually going to send that over to Gold Diggers at Mount Gravatt. Um, they'll set that up on display. So if you've got some species you picked up over the weekend, you want to crush them, take them down and see Ben and Nat. They might let you run your species through here and crush it. Anyway guys, have a good weekend. That's it from me.